In today's cartoon story joke, this priest gets asked a simple favor. All right, folks, fasten your seat belts and hold on to your hats because we're about to embark on a journey that's going to leave you scratching your head in confusion until it all magically clicks into place. Strap in for the most thrilling roller coaster of questions marks you've ever experienced, but fear not, because by the end, you'll be nodding your head in agreement and laughing all the way. So, researchers have been getting down to the nitty-gritty of love, trying to figure out where exactly in our bodies we feel different kinds of love, romantic love, parental love, even love for strangers. It's like they're playing a game of emotional twister, but instead of left foot red, it's more like right hand romantic. Imagine this. Participants were asked to color in silhouettes of bodies to show where they felt bodily sensations when experiencing a certain type of love. Can you picture it? People sitting around, pens in hand, trying to pinpoint whether their self-love sensation is more of a left pinky or right kneecap kind of feeling. But here's the kicker. All types of love were felt in the head. I mean, we knew love could make your head spin, but who knew it was a full-on headlining act in the body sensation department? Some love even spread to the chest, while others were like, nah, I'm just gonna hang out in the head today. Thanks. And get this, love feelings formed a continuum with romantic, sexual, and parental love being felt more strongly than, say, love for strangers. It's like the body's love meter goes from full-on fireworks for your partner to a polite nod for the guy who holds the door open for you. But wait, there's more. Love isn't just about physical sensations. There's a mental intensity too. Apparently, the more your body feels the love, the more your mind's like, yeah, I'm into this which, honestly, explains a lot about those lovey-dovey couples who can't stop staring into each other's eyes. Now, let's not forget about emotions. Love and happiness are like the party animals of the emotional spectrum, sparking almost entire body activity. Meanwhile, depression's the party pooper, dampening feelings like it's raining on our emotional parade. And anger? Well, that's the one emotion that activates the arms. Because who doesn't want to throw a little love tap when they're mad? So, there you have it. Love is a wild ride, from head to toe, with twists, turns, and a whole lot of heart. And who knew science could make love even more fascinating? Just when you thought your heart couldn't get any fuller, along comes a study that proves love really does make the world go round, whether it's in your head, your heart, or even your pinky toe. But let the question mark roller coaster begin. So there's this priest doing his rounds, paying home visits to the elderly parishioners, spreading some love and spiritual guidance. He knocks on the door of this little old lady's house and she invites him in with a twinkle in her eye and a mischievous grin. Before the priest can even say a word about salvation or the afterlife, the old lady drops a bombshell. She's got a last wish, you see, and she's willing to shell out some serious cash, 600 bucks serious, to make it happen. But here's the catch. She wants some company, a little human interaction to brighten up her twilight years. Now, the priest's a bit taken aback. I mean, he's all about serving the Lord and spreading the good word, but this request, it's a bit out of left field. Still, he's a man of compassion, so he tells the old lady he'll see what he can do. As he steps outside, pondering how to fulfill this unusual request, he spots Michael, the neighborhood troublemaker, zipping by on his bike. Light bulb moment. The priest figures, hey, why not recruit Michael for some good old-fashioned companionship? After all, the kid could use a lesson in altruism, and the old lady could use some entertainment. So, he flags down Michael, lays out the situation, and dangles that sweet $600 carrot in front of him. Michael's eyes practically light up at the prospect of easy money, and without a second thought, he ditches the bike and rushes into the old lady's house faster than you can say, holy moly. Fast forward a few hours, and the priest, making his rounds again, notices the absence of Michael's bike outside the house. Uh-oh, he thinks. The old lady must have kicked the bucket. With a heavy heart, he ventures inside, 
expecting the worst. But what does he find? Michael, sprawled out on the bed, butt naked as the day he was born, looking like he just won the lottery. The priest's jaw practically hits the floor as he stammers out a question. Where's Anna? And Michael, without missing a beat, flashes a grin and delivers the punchline that seals the deal. Oh, she's off, drawing more money. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>